Yo. Ha ha. Milk uh, episode. good youtube it's your boy milton Nipperson coming back with another sneaker review this time we got our hands on the pg4 gatorade game exclusive shoe from the sneakers app now <laughs> a lot of people hit me up about this shoe because when this shoe came out this was the original pg4 gatorade that released it was the first pg4 release colorway for his shoe now this is the great version, Gatorade collaboration. Um, the one I got was the GE Game Exclusive. This one, for some reason, was kind of hard for a lot of people. But I tried to simplify it as much as possible. I think that when this shoe, this shoe came out, the Game Exclusive, when that debuted, it's pretty much the same shoe as this shoe right here. The only difference is the colorway. And we'll get to that once we undo the unboxing for the game exclusive pg4 this actually came with the pen um so i'm curious to see if anything is inside the game exclusive box not sure but before we get into that i just want to let everybody know any game exclusive release from sneakers you have to keep in mind that you have an nba 2k account if you have if you play nba 2k you're going to have an account you want to link that account to your sneakers account. And by doing that, you have to go to NBA2K.com. I think it's around here somewhere. Um, and once you log into your account on NBA2K, that's where you're going to basically merge it with your sneakers. You'll have that option to sync it to your sneakers account and make sure that it all comes together. I say this because many people may look at this PG4 colorway and think, eh, it's trash. But in the future, I believe sneakers are going to do multitude of game exclusive shoes. When you can't get those shoes, it may be a colorway or uh, a silhouette that you may covet, but you can't get unless you have that synchronization going on. <clears throat> the problem is when this shoe, game exclusive first shoe, first came out, they the instructions were you had to play NBA 2K, log into the neighborhood, and look for a digital billboard. I think it was one of four that displayed an image that allowed you to go back into your sneakers account, use the camera to unlock it, and then purchase it. And then after a while, when I think things started getting finicky, <coughs> excuse me, like the Nike Snurf server started going a little crazy. Um, and then what happened was I ended up going in, um, unlocking the shoe, and then buying it. And I think after a while, the camera went away, then it came back. And then I just told people, look, just make sure your sneakers account is linked to the um, NBA 2K account. And boom, you have to you had the option to buy for the uh, GE release. Now, again, keep that in mind. I just I just want to reiterate, just because that was very important, especially for future releases. There will be more releases for not just the PG4, just game exclusive shoes in general. I think it's something new. It's a cool concept that sneakers is trying out. Just make sure you have those accounts linked up. So without further ado, let's just get straight into the shoe. I'll put these down and we're going to do a comparison. And quite honestly, from what I've seen, if you see my video that broke this shoe down in terms of how it was designed, it's pretty much the same thing. But this will be a different colorway. Now, let's see what I got here. I need something to actually open this thing up. Now, we're going to use this. Oh, we can use this. This thing came today, so I'm curious. This is the first time I've seen this shoe up close. And I'm pretty sure it's the first time a lot of people seen this shoe up close because not many people have it. And whew. All right, so let's get straight into it. Of course, this is the same box as the original PG4 release, so it's pretty much no different. Got the PG Paul George icon on the top of the box. Of course, got Paul George right there on the side of the box. And if you look like real close, you can see that strobo effect. Strobo as in the engineering concept, the cushion concept underneath the shoe. And of course, this is my size, which is a size 13. Yes, I have jumbo feet. So without further ado, Let's just read the box first and see what we have here. Now the color, 
way for this shoe is photo blue and aurora green. Um, that makes me want to think of the turbo green Air Jordan 1. But here we go. Whoa. If you want a shoe that you can walk down the street and catch somebody's attention, this is definitely it. So this is the PG4 game exclusive GE edition that we saw if you were able to get it through the sneakers and the NBA 2K account. Get a good look there, right? So that's why I said that this design is pretty much the same and no different from the first release. It's just the colors that pretty much changed. Now, let me just check this box because... Okay, so my box came with some type of, I don't know if you can see that right here. It looks like a Gatorade GX, Paul George at the top. I've got to look a little bit closer at this. This is number two. Huh. Might have to do some research about this. If anybody knows, let me know. But this came with the shoe. Not sure what that is just yet. But when I find out, I'll let everybody know. Back to the shoe. So I'm going to pop up the little video. I should display the shoe in layers. And if I remember this off the top of my head, how this was designed. You got the shroud. The shroud that sits up on top. Uh, you have the zipper system underneath. It should be the insole at this portion. And then you have that strobel engineering design for that nice cushioning fit. And then you have that rubber outsole on top of another rubber outsole that's on the bottom um, and that should construct the shoe from top to bottom and this shoe is no different again it is the same exact design as the first release the only difference is the colorway so you can see the color differences between the shoe i'll put one right here and one right here you can see that this shoe predominantly purple and this shoe has that aurora blue um i do i'm curious actually about what they did with the laces, but I can see that the laces are exactly the same. Meaning they basically didn't do anything change-wise with the color of the laces. And you can see that this shoe, put this in here. So <clears throat> when I put this up right here, so both shoes pretty much the same in terms of the colorway for the laces. Um, it looks, the only thing about this shoe, I, I like it. The reason why I like it is because it's different. I like different shoes. I like to be different, Pauls. But it's, it's just one of those things that when you look at this shoe, the colorway kind of resembles an NBA team that Paul George used to play for. I'm just saying, he plays for the Clippers. So this, this colorway is kind of interesting, though. But I like both shoes simply because that it stands out, right? So these are... The first release, again, with the great version, the game release, may, will he come out with another one? I'm not sure, but I know that his PG4, the original shoe, will debut later on this month, if I'm not mistaken. It's like a black colorway. Uh, but these are the exclusive collaborations that he did with Gatorade. And you can see, like, again, let me just put this up so people can get a good look at this. That You can see that the bottom colorway right there. Um, it has that multi-directional bottom. And if you look, same thing like the last video. If you look inside this window, you can see that parts of the strobel design that covers the bottom of the shoe that you just saw uh, in the layer video. Uh, and then the insole. The insole for this one actually is the same, same colorway as the insole for the first release. It has that, it's basically like that, kind of like, I want to say yellowish. But it's that yellowish color in the insole with the Gatorade symbol inside. I, this is dope. I didn't think that I was able to get both shoes in my size. <clears throat> Not to say that it would sell out, but I'd say in my size because I wear size 13. Again, yes, I have boots. So without further ado, I'm going to find out what that, the, whatever this is. I got to find out what this is. This, this is going to 
rack my brain. Uh, hey, is it a free trip to see Paul George? I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just putting it out there. Maybe see the Gatorade corporate. I, I don't know, but I'll find out. Your boy one episode. Let's get to the office so we can see what these things look like. PG4 game exclusive. And if you want to see more details about this shoe, go ahead and click the video that I have right here. It's the video that I did for this shoe in detail, basically summarizing everything about this shoe. Without further ado, let's just get to the on feet. 